Hey, we're getting ready for an important ritual tonight, but in the meantime, we get a funny kid story, right? The kid is me. I'm 14 to 16, hanging out with my aunt. We're up in Rochester on Monroe Ave. It's a pretty cool place, you know. You go to Monroe Ave, and you can get all sorts of cool stuff that, at that time, you know, you couldn't just order off the internet. You had to go, like, somewhere like that to find cool stuff, right? Anywho, we're in record stores, right? We're, we're in the record store, and we're in a record store, and we're hanging out. And I had gas, but I don't have a sense of smell, so it doesn't register with me. But anywho, so I'm, I'm letting on my gas, but they're silent, right? But still, we're in one record store, and my aunt was like, oh. after a while, she came to me, and she's like, she's like, we're, we gotta go. <laughs> So come to find out, this guy, this one guy, she thought it was this one guy. Because every time, and I was like, farting here and I'd move. But then Sky would go over and she's like, God damn! She's like, so she thought it was this guy. Well, we went to the next record store, right? Well, then I, I'm doing the same thing. She came, she, then she figured it out, right? She comes and says, do you have gas? <laughs> like, I'm like, uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it's like, but yeah, go. <laughs> so from then on, she made me take Beano or Acidophilus, which is like, it just helps you digest it so you don't have the gas, right? But it's funny because she's like, oh, my God, she thought it was the other guy. She's like, oh, my God, I thought the paint was going to peel off the walls. She's like, my eyes are watering. <laughs> True story is funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the the fantastic flatulence fiasco. <laughs> the fantastic flatulence fiasco <laughs> in Rochester with my aunt Sky. Yeah, okay. I love you, Sky. <laughs> Great story, though. Yeah. <laughs>